Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Crystal Reports allows you to add some basic shapes, such as lines and rectangles, in order to clarify information and enhance the report's presentation display. You can draw a line by either selecting Insert from the menu bar, and then choosing the Line command, or by simply clicking the Insert Line button in the Insert toolbar. When you do either activity, your mouse pointer will appear as a pencil icon when you hold it over the report area. You can then click and drag from one point to another to create a vertical or horizontal line within your report. Notice that you can click on the line to select it. You can also move and resize the object just as you can report data fields and other report objects. Just click into the middle of the line and drag it to move the line from one place to another within the report area. You can also click on a line, place your mouse pointer over either end of the line until you see a double pointed arrow appear, and then click and drag to resize the line if desired. You can also change the formatting of the line that you've drawn by simply right clicking on the line and then choosing Format Line from the pop-up menu which appears. You could also just simply click the line to select it and then choose Format from the menu bar and choose the Format Line command. Either activity will launch the Format Editor dialog box and display the Line tab. Here you can select a desired line style from the Style drop-down and you could choose None, Single, Dashed, or Dotted. You can then click on one of the buttons displayed in the Width section to set the desired width of the line. You can use the Color drop-down to select the desired color for the line as well. Below that, you can check the Extend to Bottom of Section When Printing checkbox to always extend the selected line all the way to the bottom of the Report section when printing, and this can be useful for vertical line display in Report sections. If you check the Suppress checkbox, the line will actually not be printed. Checking the Repeat on Horizontal Pages checkbox will ensure that if there are horizontal page breaks in the report, the line selected will also print across the horizontal pages which are created, and this can be useful if you have a horizontal line. Checking the Read Only checkbox prevents additional formatting changes from being applied to the selected line. Checking Lock Position and Size prevents both moving and resizing of the line in the report. When you're done, click OK to apply the changes. You should also be able to see how it would appear in the preview. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.